how do we use permission sets in validation rules. Today we're gonna to talk through a quick workaround that you can put together to be able to reference permission sets and those who are assigned to permission sets in validation rules. So let's jump into it. So here I have a pretty standard validation rule on the account object. You'll notice that I'm currently referencing three different user IDs. Uh, essentially anyone outside of these user IDs, this validation rule will flag anytime they go look to change the annual revenue field. Now, this is workable right here, but you might have a, a large team that you're looking to uh, bypass these validation rules, whether it is across multiple profiles, across multiple roles, and you're tired of listing out these user IDs or trying to reference all kinds of profiles and roles. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna be able to reference a permission set to do this. However, you're not able to reference a permission set directly in the validation rule. So for example, if I go to look in insert a field, you'll notice that a permission set is not available to reference. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a very simple process, a very simple workaround here, is we're gonna be able to create a custom permission, which will then flow into a permission set, which is assigned to your number of users, and then reference that custom permission in the validation rule. So by using the per custom permission, we can then reference that within this validation rule. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and create a custom permission. And there's really nothing you need to know about custom permissions. Um, all we're going to do is add this custom permission into a permission set. So here are custom permissions. I'm gonna go ahead and create a net new one. I'll just call this uh, annual revenue permission. And I can say here, referenced in a validation rule. That's all you need to do. I'm gonna hit save here. And now this is a part of the, uh, this, is the, this is that custom permission. Now you'll notice here that if I refresh on the validation rule itself, is that I'm actually now able to reference the permission of annual revenue permission, right? But right now we don't know who actually has this custom permission. It's not attached to any profiles, not attached to any, any user right now until we add that permission set. So all we're gonna do now is go in, now that we've done step one of creating the custom permission, we're now going to attach it to a permission set. So I'm gonna create the permission set. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna call it uh, update annual revenue, right? Um, and I'm gonna say users in this permission set are able to update annual revenue on the account per a validation rule, right? Very common use case here is maybe creating permission set for deal desk users, uh, for an executive team that spans across multiple profiles or roles in your org. Um, but in this case, we're just using it for annual revenue. Again, we can expand this into any use case here. So here's that permission set. Now the permission set, I need to add the custom permission. You know, that's really all I need to do here. So I'm gonna to go to custom permissions. Oh, so in custom permissions, I'm going to now add that annual revenue uh, custom permission. And here it is. So this is the only thing that lives inside of this permission set is this custom permission to be referenced. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit manage assignments. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and add all of my users that I want to be a part of this to this permission set. So I'm gonna hit add assignment here. And I'm gonna add all three of these users to this permission set, right? By doing that, they're now assigned this custom permission, which I can now reference inside of this validation rule, right? Um, so here I have the three users. Um, in this case, I'm now going to exit this out and I'm now going to insert the custom permission, which is this annual revenue. 
Now, to reference those that do not have this custom permission, I need to put this not function in here. So what this is saying right here is this is saying, if the annual revenue is changed and you do not have this custom permission, which is a part of a custom permission, or part of a permission set, then you cannot update this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little help text. And this is uh, part of the update annual revenue permission set. Uh, this is just uh, really helpful to put in help text within the uh, within the validation rule here so that you can read that. And so just like that, and I'm gonna go ahead and check syntax. So now again, I have is changed and not permission set, right? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save this. And just to do a little bit of testing here, just to show you what that looks like. Uh, right now, I'm able to update this annual revenue, right? So I can go in here, I'm gonna go ahead and update this annual revenue. And just like that, I am able to update the annual revenue, no problem. Now, if I were to take myself out of this permission set, which is referenced by the validation rule, uh, we'll see that the validation rule is then going to, it's gonna fire. So if I go ahead and remove that assignment from myself, I'm gonna go in here and refresh. I'm gonna go try to update this annual revenue field. You'll notice here that I'm gonna get blocked now because I'm not attached to that custom permission, which is in that permission set. It says here, you do not have permission to update the annual revenue of this account, right? Because that is being referenced right here, that I'm not a part of the update annual revenue permission set. So just like that, you can use permission sets in validation rules. And again, the workaround is to create a custom permission, give that custom permission into a permission set, and then assign those permission sets to the users. This bypasses the need to statically have user IDs or profile IDs or rule IDs. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time. Thanks.